So the latest data is that we have around 51 cases in total in the Democratic Republic of Congo and around 28 deaths so far. Um, and they're in three separate locations and that's uh, an important facet to remember that they're not just in one location, they're in three places and that makes it much more complex actually to deal with as an outbreak. Um, the most important news of course in the last 24 hours has been the start of the vaccination campaign. Uh, that started yesterday in a place called Bandaka, which is the provincial capital of Equator province in the northwest of TRC. And it started with healthcare workers and the first uh, um, contacts of cases. And we plan to vaccinate up to around a thousand people over the course of the next week or so. The big game changer was the town of Bandaka, which has around one million people getting infected. That really changed the scenario from a rural Ebola outbreak, which DRC has seen many of, to a small town urban outbreak, which DRC has only seen once or twice. And that's a big shift and that changed the whole scenario of planning overnight. The other thing that really is important to keep in mind is that Bandaka, that provincial capital, is on the Congo River. And that adds another series of complexities because that river through tributaries connects to Kinshasa, which is a city of more than 10 million people with a lot of urban slums and a lot of risks in its own right. But it also connects to neighboring countries such as the Republic of Congo across the river and Central African Republic, which is a country already in a dire conflict. So you can imagine all it takes is one sick person to be transported down that river. And remember, this is a river. You shouldn't think of it as a river, actually. You think of it as a highway because it's the only real real transportation mode uh, in that area of DRC. So it only takes one sick person to go down that highway on a boat and end up far away for another foci, another epicenter of infection to be established. So we're really uh, uh, on an epidemiological knife edge here. Uh, we're right at the moment where the next two weeks will probably tell us, is this going to be a, an explosive outbreak that expands in these urban centers, spreads to other countries, spreads to major cities, or is this something we're going to be able to control with a combination of good public health measures and the vaccination program?